Biotics is the element zero can increase or decrease the mass of a volume of space-time when subjected to an electrical current. With a positive current, mass is increased. With a negative current, mass is decreased. The stronger the current, the greater the magnitude of the dark energy mass effect. In space, low mass fields allow FTL travel and inexpensive surface to orbit transit. High mass fields create artificial gravity and push space debris away from vessels. In manufacturing, low mass fields permit the creation of evenly blended alloys, while high mass compaction creates dense, sturdy construction materials. The military makes extensive use of mobility enhancing technologies, with mass effect utilizing fighting vehicles standard frontline issue in most military forces. Mass effect fields are also essential in the creation of kinetic barriers or shields to protect against enemy fire. Once believed to be of Prothean origin, mass relays were in fact created by the Reapers, using technology far beyond that of other living species. The enormous structures scattered throughout the stars create corridors of virtually mass-free space. This allows instantaneous transit between locations normally separated by years or even centuries using conventional FTL drives. Primary mass relays can propel ships thousands of light years. The flight path, however, is fixed to a single relay elsewhere in the galaxy. By contrast, secondary relays, while only capable of propelling ships a few hundred light years, can reach any other relay within their limited range. Many primary relays lie dormant, their destinations not yet known. These relays are often left inactive on purpose, as established civilizations are unwilling to blindly open a passage that might connect them to a new hostile species. The Reapers do not share the same concern and freely use the dormant relays. Metagel is a common medicinal salve used by paramedics, EMTs, and military personnel. It combines several useful applications, a local anesthetic, disinfectant, and clotting agent all in one. Once applied, the gel is designed to grip tight to flesh until subjected to a frequency of ultrasound. It is sealable against liquids, most notably blood, as well as contaminants and gases. The gel is a genetically engineered bioplasm created by the CERTA Foundation, a medical technology megacorp based on Earth. Technically, Medigel violates council laws against genetic engineering, but so far it has proved far too useful to ban. OmniTools are handheld devices that combine a computer microframe, sensor analysis pack, and manufacturing fabricator. Versatile and reliable, an OmniTool can be used to analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor, from a distance. The fabrication module can rapidly assemble small three-dimensional objects from common reusable industrial plastics, ceramics, and light alloys. This allows for field repairs and modifications to most standard items, as well as the reuse of salvaged equipment. Omni-tools are standard issue for soldiers and first-in colonists. The Mars archives describe a super weapon that the Alliance has named the Crucible, which exploits the technology of mass effect relays. Beyond the basic principles, however, researchers know little about how the weapon actually works. One popular theory suggests that since relays can transfer matter and energy across the galaxy with little regard for distance, it may be possible to create a weapon for which range is barely a factor. Duplicating the advanced science used to build the relays has proven difficult, however. If the Crucible were completed, the challenge would become tuning the weapon to kill a Reaper halfway across the galaxy without inflicting unthinkable levels of collateral damage. What is clear is that the Crucible's construction is a massive effort, drawing resources from throughout explored space. Staggering financial costs have been disregarded in the common effort to create something, anything, that can stop the Reapers. The Genophage bioweapon was created to end the Krogan rebellions. The Turians fought the Krogan to a standstill, 
but the sheer weight of Krogan numbers indicated they could not be stopped through conventional means. The Turians collaborated with the Salarians to engineer a genetic counter to the Krogan's rapid breeding. The genophage virus replicated by eating key genetic sequences, altering every cell of Krogan physiology, so the Krogan could not use gene therapy to fix the affected tissues. Once a genophage strain could replicate no more, it would starve and die, limiting mutation and contamination. In addition, the created genetic flaw is hereditary. The resulting mutation made only one in a thousand Krogan pregnancies carry to term, reducing offspring viability rather than fertility. Krogan warlords fought battles over the females able to carry children to term. The release of the genophage is still controversial and bitterly debated in many circles. It may be possible to reverse the genophage by extracting an immunity from the genetic data of a cured Krogan female. A Salarian geneticist named Malin, a former student of Dr. Morden Solis, discovered the cure through unethical experimentation on live subjects. The complexity and durability of the genophage derives from biochemical countermeasures that the Salarians wove into the plague in an attempt to make the sterilization incurable. No one is certain of how Malin circumvented the countermeasures, but his work was complete enough to allow replication of his results. In its original form, the cure restored fertility but severely compromised the immune system. This resulted in slow, painful death for all but one of Malin's test subjects. If the beneficial aspects of the cure can be isolated, a specially tailored virus could repair the affected genes in other Krogan. We need to shield the artifact they've got here right away. Using Garno's data, I should be able to accomplish this without difficulty. Damn thing's been here the whole time. Why weren't we affected? Perhaps the amount of time spent near the artifact is key. After a certain duration, it affords Leviathan an impressive mind control capability. I'd call it dangerous as hell. Bryson's assistant tried to kill me. Perhaps Leviathan was controlling him to protect itself, diverting people away from its trail. Maybe. It just shows we don't know what we're dealing with yet. Despite the risk, this artifact remains our only link to finding Leviathan. Perhaps we could find more information about it here in the lab. Agreed. Bryson's team might have turned up something we missed. I'll look around. They were testing the artifact for energy emissions. And found nothing. Still, I recommend leaving it shielded. Anything interesting about the artifact structure? It is not constructed of the same compounds used in standard Reaper technology. Beyond that, nothing of relevance.
Edie, what project was Garno working on when he found the artifact? Basilisk. Got anything on Basilisk? Several ships, a mythical creature, and a rare mid-tier enemy type in the Galaxy of Fantasy video game. It possesses a gaze attack capable of triggering synced animation kills. Player forms describe it as overpowered. I meant the project, Edie. Oh. Then, no. There's got to be something here on this artifact. What about the server? Bryson's assistant wiped the office server and destroyed all backups, likely before killing Bryson. However, records show new messages on Bryson's personal comm terminal upstairs. Could be worth a look. A message from Dr. Bryson's daughter, Anne. According to my records, she worked with her father. I'm at the dig site in the Pylos Nebula. Project Scarab paid off. I've got another artifact like the one Garneau found. I think it could be affecting people's behavior. You need to shield the one in your office. I tried to warn Garneau, but I can't get through. We've got Reaper scouts coming in toward the main site. I'm heading to the secondary base to grab what research I can. Anne Bryson was attempting to contact Garneau on the asteroid colony. She seems to know something about the artifact. She sounded worried. If Reaper forces were approaching, her concern was warranted. Let's hope we get to her before they do. She said she was in the Pylos Nebula, working for Project Scarab. That cluster contains several systems. I'll call up the Nebula on the galaxy map. We may also search the lab for clues to narrow down her location. Does anything in Anne Bryson's work history suggest where she might be? Nothing relevant. Any idea if Project Scarab involved Element Zero? Unlikely. We may learn more from the Project Requisitions Locker. Any correlation between Project Scarab and these unexplained creature sightings? Not beyond Leviathan itself. Anne Bryson flew out on a ship called the Icarus. Can you track its movements? No. The Reapers have disrupted civilian comm buoys. But we might learn more if we find the ship's specifications. The locker is secure. We must locate an access card to open it. Access card for the requisitions locker? Yes. According to records, it was last used by Anne Bryson to obtain equipment for Project Scarab. Let's see what Anne Bryson requisitioned for Project Scarab. Water recycling equipment. Didn't take breathing masks. Based on what Anne Bryson did or did not requisition, the dig site was arid, but habitable. Get me a filter for systems with compatible planets. <laughs> Bryson's assistant, Hadley. Do we have an update on his status? He is in a vegetative state. The doctors believe it is permanent. But the miners recovered when the artifact was destroyed. Hadley lost consciousness when he attempted to answer our questions about Leviathan. It may have been a deliberate attempt to silence him permanently. There are specifications for several ships here. We need to find the Icarus. Which ship am I looking for again? The Icarus. The Icarus. Here we go. The ship has enhanced electrostatic discharge cells. They facilitate long-range FTL travel. So they jumped to the Pylos Nebula by mass relay, then flew to another system. Yes. Otherwise, they would have chartered a less expensive ship. Okay. We can rule out the relay system. The 
Reapers. Let's hope we find Anne before they do. There is no sign of Anne Bryson in this system. Faster than light jump successful. Signal confirmed. There is no sign of Anne Bryson in this system. I found something. located Anne Bryson's dig site.
Okay, so we got reports of an attack on some scientists, right? Right. Edie, can you tell us anything else? This is the main site of a series of excavations established under Dr. Garrett Bryson. Staff records confirm the project lead is his daughter, Anne. She has recently uncovered another artifact possibly linked to Leviathan. That discovery must have made this dig site a target. Yes. An attack means we're on the right trail. And since Bryson's daughter is our only lead, our objective is clear. Cortez? Nothing so far, Commander. If she's down there, she hasn't responded to our hails. Getting some strange signals, though. Give me a minute. The artifact she uncovered may have caused additional complications. Agreed. Take us in closer. Copy that. We have hostiles! Take us in. Commander, on the landing platform! That's her. Okay, let's get... This! Tracking multiple boats! Get us over there. Negative, it's too hot. Heading to lower platform. Hang on. There, go! Jump! We're in the shit now, Commander. This platform won't remain stable for long. Move. She's somewhere above us. Hello? Is anyone there? I'm coming down. No, stay where you are. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance Navy. It's too dangerous. We'll come to you. Yes, okay. You should take the elevator up on the far side. Copy that. We're on our way. The Reaper called Harbinger is believed to be the oldest and largest in the Reaper Armada. From the reaches of dark space, Harbinger managed to control the Collectors, a race of human-sized insectoid bipeds, as it sent them on a campaign to kill and gather humans from vulnerable colonies. The Collectors became a terrifying force in the galaxy, responsible for the murder of hundreds of thousands. Surviving colonists have described the tone of Harbinger's threats heard through the Collectors as they attacked as visceral and terrifying. Alliance Intelligence has tentatively identified Harbinger as one of the Reapers leading the attack on Earth.
Looks like a bridge over there. Controls are broken. Someone try to fix it. You got it. Ah, wires are fried. Give me a minute. Won't you work? Well, that seemed to work. I'm raising the bridge now. Find another way. Shepard, this looks like a path. Commander, they attacked my assistant Hopkins. We're being cornered. Stay hidden, Doctor.
fast as we can. Hang in there. tried to run. I told him not to, but he wanted to help the others. Where did everyone go? I'm sorry. They didn't make it. Doctor, I need you to come with me. Oh, God. Yes, of course. was at another dig site when they attacked. I got back as quick as I could, but what's happening? Commander. I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that Leviathan? Y yes Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Clearly a reaper, but acting alone. Not like any Reaper we've seen before. Doctor, I understand you found something recently. The artifact? Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. It may sound strange, but I'm certain it affects people. Their behavior. I've only had a short time to study it. Not strange at all. Did you find anything? Not much, but I did learn something about the energy it generates. Get down! doing they've activated it i've never managed anything doctor they've learned to well the darkness must not be breached shepherd take it out got it you okay cortez we have ann bryson need a pickup Copy that. You see the shuttle, you run. Don't look back. Okay. Yes. We need to get rid of that harvester. We'll bring it 
I think so. I blacked out. Leviathan took control of him. We cut the connection before you got hurt. Leviathan itself? That's incredible. The Reapers seem as interested in it as we are. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. We were hoping you could help us figure out why. But first... Doctor, I have some bad news. Anne, please. Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers, never went back to dark space, like a rogue, or even a defector. I have to call my father. He'll want to know. Anne, you need to listen to me, okay? Your father... is dead. I'm sorry. He's... what? Dead? He can't be dead. We met with him. Hoping to find out what he knew. Something happened. Something happened? You're not the first to lose control. Your father's assistant. One minute he was fine, the next... He drew a gun on your father. I couldn't stop him. I can't believe this. We have to find out what's behind it all. You're the only one who can help us. And? I... I want to see his office. We'll arrange for transportation. Meet you there. Commander, that was a skillful operation back on Sir Kesh, extracting the female Krogan. I had help. Morden Solis knew what he was doing. Yes, Garrus mentioned the Doctor was on your mission through the Omega-4 relay. I'm surprised a Solarian cares about the Krogan. War is full of surprises. <laughs> Rarely the good kind. 
I'm just happy this one played to our advantage. That's all. Of course, Commander. Shepard. Asian successful. Hello? Anne? Are you here? Anne? Oh, Commander. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Of course. Are you alright? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. So stupid. It's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again? He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I loved that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. 
Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Anne, you sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. You studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now, it might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the Queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar, entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. Hey, loco. Need a hand? We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time, the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes, but this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site, the Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs, but he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God. He'd have hated dying here. Anne, I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us... I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. This is pretty gutsy. I don't know about guts. <sighs> Crazy, maybe. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I'm ready. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. A feel of chill. Edie? No trace yet. Holy oh, hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. 
The darkness can't be breached. Yo! Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you. And the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Do it. Man. Anne. Anne, are you all right? Yes. I think so. Did we get anything? Yes, but it will take some time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. Good. It's a start. Commander, I sense something else. Anger. It knows we're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come on. Let's get you some help. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Well, now that I know your weakness, we may have to try a game. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. Hey, Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high-band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners hey and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Or maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Well, yeah. There's that, too.
Loco! You see that Krogan female? Huh? 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 Up close and personal. I think the male's got the pretty gene. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a loco, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done... <laughs> Makes me look sane. I'll talk to you later. You bet. thousand years that I can in no way talk about? Say, yeah, I've seen him. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish.
Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated, likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something. Prefer to let her recover full. My pe her opinion, somewhat different. Nice talk. We'll be here. Continuing to... Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five ex-Sonax Industries scientists who attempted to... This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Remind me how long Asari normally live? Centuries. Some of us reach 1,000. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Greetings, Commander. Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. So a Prothean? A real live Prothean? Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. Yes, Shepard? Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm here. Noted.
I found something. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what Cerberus is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. to several cultures in the galaxy. Reapers were once imagined as space monsters that consumed entire stars. Archaeologists who searched for the sources of such myths found little besides the themes of all-consuming devils that are common to primitive cultures. Although accurate information about the Reapers remains scarce, the galaxy now knows that the Reapers are not a myth. They are a real and devastating threat. Sovereign was the first Reaper encountered by the modern Citadel races. Military leaders initially assumed that Sovereign was a Geth or Protean flagship commanded by Saren Arterius, a rogue specter. The truth was far more alarming. The massive ship was itself intelligent, and Saren proved to be under its control. The attacks by Sovereign against Eden Prime and the Citadel removed any uncertainty about the Reaper's technological superiority. Sovereign's formidable shielding and firepower allowed it to hold off the combined fleets of the Citadel, and its mass effect fields proved powerful enough to let the enormous vessel land on a planet's surface. Sovereign's mission, to open a mass relay that would transport the other Reapers from dark space, proved its undoing. During the Battle of the Citadel, Sovereign linked its consciousness to Saren's. When Saren's death corrupted the signal and shut down Sovereign's shields, Sovereign's destruction soon followed.
There is no doubt. That's Reaper technology. You've got the sample. Roger that. Meet you at the landing pad. Only lead to Metagel advances for Hanna. Only Cerberus would call that a failure. Cortez can pick us up. Nothing like being stranded. Never said it would be easy.
10. You copy. He is likely dead. He'll make it. Let's just keep the landing pad clear. engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. <laughs> Yes, Shepard. What do you think the Krogan will do after the Genophage is cured? As the one who cured it, my word will be law over all the other clans. Then your council will remember why they feared the Krogan. Sounds like you're looking for some payback. My people have suffered a great injustice. To let the Genophage go unpunished would show weakness. At the very least, the threat of revenge will ensure an accommodation is reached. Violence can be a useful tool, Commander. What's the situation back at Tachunka? I got word that more Reaper forces arrived. They're planning something. You almost sound excited. Oh, I am. We're at our best against enemies everyone else fears. The Salarians are hiding. The Turians are begging for help. But Krogan, we're happy to let the Reapers in, so we can measure their heads for trophies before we kill them. Back on Sir Kesh, the female Krogan didn't seem to like you much. It doesn't matter. I'm her clan leader, and she'll obey my word. Her immunity is an unexpected gift. It will force the other clans to accept Erdnot rule as supreme. Our offspring will outnumber theirs in no time. Let's get back to work. <sighs> Something wrong? That Solarian scientist of yours, he failed to mention how he was gonna take his tissue sample. This ship doesn't have enough painkillers for where he cut me. Commander, you've got a new messenger at your private terminal. 
Rivera. You had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes. I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? Put down the truth. Good, bad, don't leave anything out. Let history be the judge. I'll give them the facts. Let me just delete all these breathless passages on your heroics. You writing anything I can't live up to? I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. Signal confirmed. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. I'm still not sure what we're expecting to find down there. Dr. Bryson classified Leviathan as a Reaper killer. It appears it doesn't wish to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. But then what? If it turns out to be a Reaper, are we really going to offer an alliance? Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. That's possible. 
possible. Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Here. How's the shuttle, Cortez? Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. It would seem others have been stranded here as well. We aren't the first to encounter that pulse. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. <laughs> 